All right, and here to help me break it all down is the voice of a multitude of Watch Mojo videos, the Watch Mojo lady herself, Rebecca Brayton. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Matt. I'm excited uh, to be here. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to have you here because we've got a lot to talk about, so let's not waste any time. All right, Rebecca. Well, we begin with some rather surprising sequel news as Keanu Reeves is confirmed to be reprising the role of Constantine. You will live, John Constantine. You will live. Oh yes, picking up after the events of the 2005 film, Reeves will take on the role of cursed exorcist and demonologist for a brand new movie, reteaming with director Francis Lawrence. All right, Rebecca, it's been 17 years. The uh, original box office wasn't stellar, but this crew always wanted to make a sequel. So what says you? Is it ever too late for a sequel? It's never too late for a Keanu Reeves sequel. <laughs> That's my opinion. I think, you know, cashing in on the Keanu, the Keanu sauce is definitely worthwhile. And not only Keanu Reeves in that movie though, but like Tilda Swinton. Peter Stormare, like it's a really cool cast, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. Hey, boom! <laughs> okay, well, moving on to other movie news, because Sony has announced that they are working on yet another Karate Kid film slated for 2024. Concentrate, focus, power. Remember, balance, no mercy. But Cobra Kai fans shouldn't get too excited because co-creator of that show, John Hurwitz, has since revealed that this new Karate Kid movie isn't coming from his creative team, and it will not be focused on the Cobra Kai cast of characters. Adult classes are on Wednesday. We're not here to take a lesson. We're here to teach you one. Rebecca, is it a mistake not to tie the Karate Kid movie with Cobra Kai? For a reboot to have goodwill, I feel like squandering that on your for your reboot or your sequel or whatever they're gonna be, it's gonna be. That's a bit of a. That's a bit of a. It's it's bold uh, because like Cobra Kai is popular. People like it. It it is done well and people like it. So the fact that they're just gonna kind of be like, no, never mind. It seems like a waste. Are you losers? No sensei! Are you nerds? No sensei! Are you sure? No sensei! Okay, Rebecca, well, sticking with Sony, the studio has announced that they're actually delaying some Spider-Man adjacent films. I'm listening. I'm not sure how I got here. It has to do with Spider-Man, I think. The Aaron Taylor Johnson starring Craven the Hunter will now come out on October 6th. 2023. Where'd you come from? Mother Russia. By way of Mother Africa. Meanwhile, the Dakota Johnson starring Madam Web will be released on February 16th, 2024. They call me Web, Madam Web. Thank you for rescuing me. The Guardian Vines are formidable. All right, Rebecca, the Sony Spider-Man universe doesn't seem to be having the best luck, especially after Morbius. What says you, can this still be a thing? Okay, can I tell you a secret? I didn't hate Morbius. <laughs> I don't think it's impossible. I think Tom Holland is so likable and so good in that role that he can, he can make anything work. I just, they need to get there. It's a curse. Okay, Rebecca, get ready for this because new reports indicate that Netflix will be getting rid of their binge model. You know, where they release all episodes of a season all at once. Amy and Steve watch 10 Peaky Blinders in one night? Not a competition, honey. <laughs> Kinda is. As for why, well, Netflix is facing many challenges, most notably increased competition who don't follow this model and have had great success. Yes! So I'm clearly nailing it at all these things. Okay, Rebecca, does binging a TV show still make sense? And if they scrap it, are you for it? I do find that when I watch something really, really fast that I don't kind of take it in as much. And 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 to a point, I don't get as into it. So um, 
I, I could see this benefiting shows and it being like appointment television. All right, well, I quickly want to touch on Fortnite because like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Brie Larson is the latest celebrity to get involved with the fighting franchise. This isn't how it ends. Epic Games released a new cinematic trailer setting up storylines for Chapter 3 Season 4, and Brie Larson appeared as the character Paradigm. Okay, now, Rebecca, the Captain Marvel actress isn't the most liked online, and I, I gotta ask, why do you think that is? I like Brie Larson. I watch her YouTube channel. I think she's relatable. I think she seems cool. I, I would like to hang out with Brie Larson. That's for the record. I want this on, like, I hope this gets back to her because that video of her at, uh, I guess it was Disney uh, D23, where someone was like, are you gonna play Captain Marvel again? And she was like, I don't know. Do people want me to? Mm -hmm. uh, I I very relate to that vibe of answer. How long will you play Captain Marvel for? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? All right. Well, last for us today in the Hollywood headlines is the final goodbye that was paid this week to Queen Elizabeth II. These are the final moments for the people to see the hearse. With hundreds of world leaders and thousands upon thousands of mourners paying their final respects, the longest serving monarch, with billions watching around the world, was finally put to rest in, well, a funeral fit for a queen. All right, Rebecca, there was lots of celebrities on hand. Sandra Oh was there. She has an Order of Canada. Bear Grylls was representing the Scouts. Obviously, it was a big procession. Uh, what says you? Did you follow this? And uh, are you a royal watcher? Um, regardless of what you think about the monarchy or Queen Elizabeth um, or the family, I, I think this was a moment that is really important to have witnessed. And I think Queen Elizabeth was a... Uh, someone who brought people together more than maybe the next generation might. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Not my, not really my place to say, but um, I did really respect what she stood for. Rebecca, I can't thank you enough for joining me. Uh, once again, help me break down all these Hollywood headlines. No worries, thank you so much.